It's time for another head-to-head -head comparison. This time it's Miss Pac-Man from Basic Fun and My Arcade. That's happening right now. Don't you know that you're a grown-up? No games, no puns. Not a lot if you're a grown-up. Hey, welcome back to Gen X Grown-Up. I'm John. I am a Gen X Grown-Up. Thank you for checking out this video and the channel. You probably know by now, I've been collecting these handheld arcade units from Basic Fun and My Arcade, and I like reviewing them, but even more than that, I like comparing when the two companies both put out the same title. I did a Dig Dug not too long ago. I even compared Galaga head to head. I'll throw a link up in the corner if you'd like to take a look at that one for yourself. It's time to go at it again, this time with Ms. Pac-Man. Basic Fun has had their version out for quite a while, but recently My Arcade came out with their iteration of this classic arcade game. How do they stack up? How do they compare? Or we're gonna find out. Before we do that though, if this is your first time watching Gen X Grown Up, see the little bar that lifts? Give that subscribe button a click, maybe enable notifications, then you can check out way more of our Gen X inspired content. All right, let's head to the table with these guys and find out if they are worth your money. Here we are with our rival Miss pac Manses, Miss Pac-Min, Miss Packs, whatever. Let's start with the basic fun. We've looked at plenty of these. Uh, we know what the packaging looks like. Let's crack it open. Pretty par for the course for these basic fun arcade classics out of demo mode. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that the the bezel art is awfully like tiny and kind of almost trivial. You can barely see it. But anyway, on off power, uh, volume control, you got the speakers on the front, batteries are included and it's battery powered only. There's no way to externally power it. We have a four-way joystick that really is their standard eight-way joystick with just the uh, molded plastic serving as a restrictor plate. Uh, and a start button. No fire button, of course, because it's Ms. Pac-Man. I know it's not the case, but for whatever reason, this one actually feels smaller than the other basic fun arcade classics. It's totally the same size and mold, and maybe it's uh, the layout of the art on the side, or maybe it's that tiny logo. I don't know. It feels littler in my hand than even just looking at it. Uh, but not the case, it's identical to the others in size, so we'll fit right alongside of those. Moving right along then to the My Arcade Microplayer Miss Pac-Man. I have made no secret about the fact that I love the form factor of these My Arcade units much better. Here she is, I mean, just really gorgeous. I love the look of these My Arcades. I just wish the software was better. Maybe we'll uh, have a pleasant surprise with this one. Uh, you know the standard layout. We have a four-way joystick. This joystick is removable if you want to. We have a reset and a start. Power button is the coin door. We have volume up and down on the back. Plus, we have a headphone jack if you're so inclined. But battery's not included. You gotta provide four double A's. Let's do that right now. Let's peel off and preserve our fake Miss Pac-Man. Let's start with basic fun. There's Miss Pac-Man. Press start. Okay. <laughs> the sound of a coin going in is cute. You know, the joystick is not terribly responsive. You've got to push pretty hard on it. And you can't just tap the joystick in the direction. It's pretty... Oh, man. You have to push really hard to get a re reaction out of this joystick. And as such, I'm about to get eaten. Ugh. Feels like there's a lot of lag in the responsiveness of the controls. Plus, you got to lean that stick really hard. Now you eat a ghost, and there's a moment later that the sound of the ghost getting eaten happens. This is a custom version of Miss Pac-Man, but despite the fact that it looks and sounds good, it plays terribly. So watch when I stop eating pellets, and it's still doing the eating sound for a while. It's just, it's not synchronized with the video. And that's not my video, that's what it's like in real life. You know, kudos for doing a nice version of Miss Pac-Man, but... If it's not playable, who cares? <sighs> yeah, seen enough of that. Moving along then to my arcade, Miss Pac-Man. Look, it says 2019. Did they take a page out of Basic Fun's book and write a custom ROM? This is promising. Maybe it's not just an NES. Ooh. What is, oh, that sounds terrible. Bucka, bucka, bucka. Miss Pac-Man is not a duck. Where's the chomping sound? Listen, there's no dot eating. Whatever they've done, it can't even handle enough audio voices.
Okay, come on. I mean, that dot eating, along with the siren, is what creates the frenetic quality of Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. Listen, with, with the fruit bouncing, there's no dot eating. Listen. And now there's no, there's no bouncing of the fruit. It has like one or two voices, and that's it. Ah. Uh, all right, well, I'll finish one screen. I will say the controls on this one are way, way, way better. Oh. I feel like all I'm doing is just making ugh sounds, but that's exactly how I feel. Blip, 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 blip. I'm not a duck. What is that quack, quack? Where's the, the flickery sound of the dots? I would feel better if this was an NES ROM. I know how much I bitch about the NES ROMs, but if you're going to make your own version of this game, why would you make it so bad? First of all, get the real ROMs. Quit screwing around. Secondly, don't, don't put out garbage like this. If you're a Gen Xer like us and you played it in the arcade, this is not going to satisfy you. If you played it on NES, this is not going to satisfy you. Who's this for? I mean, other than, yes, it's technically Miss Pac-Man, it's not... It's not good. It's not... Some artistic license with the music. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I've seen enough. I have them here in some gameplay so you can see uh, the bigger screen. I used to say I don't care if it's bigger, if it's washed out. Now it's a bigger screen and it's richer and deeper blacks. The colors are more vibrant. It makes the basic fun just look microscopic in comparison. I mean, I've got them side by side here. Ignore for a second just how bleh this version of the game is, but look how n much nicer the screen looks here on the My Arcade versus, I mean, the basic fun looks basically microscopic. And one more thing to show you while I've got them side by side, mid-game pushing start pauses on both brands now. That is a welcome addition. Look, just so you know where I'm coming from, here's a refresher of exactly what Ms. Pac-Man is supposed to look like and sound like. That's the classic that these two things were trying to replicate, and frankly, neither of them did a very good job. Basic Fun is uh, like an okay version of Ms. Pac-Man-ish, but control is awful, sound is awful. I mean, again, it's not the original ROM. It's not an NES ROM. I don't know what it is, but if you're gonna rewrite it, why would you do this? And then there's My Arcade. Well, I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, you have the power today, even like a Raspberry Pi or something, to do a decent version of Ms. Pac-Man. And if you're gonna put out something like this that looks so good, why do you put out such a subpar like, game? I wouldn't wish these versions of Ms. Pac-Man on anybody. This is not how you should play this game. I mean, they have had seen some minor improvements. The screen got better in the My Arcade, and uh, the pause feature is nice. I don't know how new that is, but I noticed it first here. That's good. Truth be told, this little keychain version of Ms. Pac-Man is a way better Ms. Pac-Man experience. Yeah, it's scaled down and it's not an original ROM, but the gameplay is closer in this microscopic little version of Ms. Pac-Man you could throw in your pocket than either of the two that we just looked at. So this is a comparison. Which one of these units is better? You know, I'm not gonna pick a winner. I'm gonna say rating-wise, they both deserve only one and a half tokens out of five. And I wouldn't recommend you get either of them, quite frankly. I would wait for a better version of Ms. Pac-Man. There are way better ways for you to enjoy this classic game. I really hope you found something in this video to enjoy, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Gen X Grown Up is dedicated to bringing you new Generation X-inspired videos every week. Here are a couple more you can watch right now, but for even more, subscribe and enable those notifications. And if you love what we do, we invite you to support us over on Patreon. And of course, your feedback in the comments and a quick thumbs up are always appreciated.